Well, hey everybody, it's me, Jermaine, and I'm back with another Simple Truth News update. And I want to come to you about this story that just broke yesterday that uh, really is disturbing when it comes to the condition of our society. I'm um, getting ready to get out of here to work, but before I do, I want to definitely talk about this. Let me jump into the car and I'll get right back with you. Okay, so here we go. Now, this story that just broke yesterday was, um, it had to do with a reporter. Her name is uh, Allison Cooper. I mean, Allison Parker, sorry. Allison Parker and her cameraman, Adam Ward. Now, and they were doing a, a news report in Virginia, just like you see on the news all the time. And they were fatally shot and killed while they were reporting on a story. Um, then later on, it came, by, it came out that the, the shooter was one. His name is, um, let me look at this here. His name is one Vester Lee Flanagan II. But when it comes to his reporting, he goes by the name of Bryce Williams. Okay, so we've established that. Now, there are several articles out there, and I'm going to leave you a couple links to the different articles. But there's several articles out there that are saying many, many different things. Um, the uh, one of the articles that came out this morning was talking about this was an Illuminati Freemason uh, um, set up situation uh, to create a race war. Now, I'm not getting into that, but what I am getting into is a couple of the surface facts. Again, I have to say surface facts. This was a black man and two white reporters. That's first. Then you have the situation where it was a gay man, which was, the shooter was gay, admittedly, and two heterosexual reporter and camera and cameraman. Now, I spoke to you a while ago on one of the episodes here, The Simple Truth, where I was speaking to you about the fact of the fallout or the uh, what was going to what was going to come down as a result of the um, the ruling that the Supreme Court made and many people look at this this situation as an expression an expression of expression of love but it's really not an expression of love as I stated I, I told you that that this alternative lifestyle these people who support this alternative lifestyle and are a part of this alternative lifestyle are very militant I wasn't the only one to say that Pastor Dow talked about that and so with that being said here we have a direct cause and effect we have a black man who's gay who has shot and killed two individuals who are white. And what the outrage is right now in, in society at large is that if this had been roles reversed, there would have been so much more of a public outcry. I want it to be clear when I state this, that we have not seen the last of the forced acceptance of this alternative lifestyle it's already been forced upon this society as far as they are allowed to marry legally just simply means they just have made it clear that they are going to go where they choose to go and do what they choose to do i i spoke to you in and one of the former uh, um, Simple Truth updates as well about how there was a, uh, a a gay couple who were, you know, well to do financially and how they were going to force a church that they had no affiliation with, that they had never gone to, or if they had gone to it, it, it doesn't matter whether they had or had not. But the point is they were going to force this church to allow them to have a, a wedding there, a gay wedding there 
same-sex wedding. Then you have the situation where someone was suing the publishers of the Bible for, you know, hate speech as far as, you know, talking about homosexuality in the Bible. And then I did, and then I did another article where we talked about, uh, sorry, another new report, sorry, where an article stated that Target was going to stop, you know, uh, gender classifying uh, boys and girls items in the store. The simple truth of the whole matter is, ladies and gentlemen, it is getting, it's, it's being turned up. The, the, the mindset is being pressed upon the public at large to accept this small pocket of society and they, they are forcing their way into, into acceptance. They can't get acceptance in and of itself because of the fact that if anyone reads the Bible, they know that it's an abomination. So what they're doing is they're using all of the means that they have within society to try to force people to accept their way of living, what they want to do. And this is a very selfish way of doing things. And it, 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 it I, I, I would not be surprised, I really would not be surprised if we don't see more instances of violence of those that are in the alternative lifestyle arena or circle, uh, uh, so to speak, I wouldn't be surprised if we see more situations where they are willing to kill for and die for their cause no matter what. Woo! People better wake up. People better get their heads together and get, and you know, there's a, there's a great saying, you know, we need to take our face out of the book and start putting our face into the book. This has been the simple truth. And as I always tell you, it's the simple things that are oftentimes the most profound, but yet they're the most difficult to put into practice and to actually do. I want to thank you for joining me and I'll be sure to see you, you, and you again on another episode real soon.